Hello, um, everyone. I am back. And uh, right off the bat, I do want to mention that um, my last video um, was about 20 minutes long. And it took me almost, uh, it took me from, I believe it was 6.30 in the morning, I, I uploaded it. And it didn't finish until probably around 8.30 at night, today. Or last night. So, yeah, I, I, I'm going to try to keep these videos short, but still in depth. But today, I'm going to do uh, 21 Jump Street, uh, Season 1, Episode 3, America, What a Town. Alright. Um, uh, the episode was directed by Larry Shaw, and it was written, um, let's see, it was, yeah, it was written by Bill Nuss, um, and, uh, basically, this is the first episode to have two, uh, stories going on at the same time, basically giving everybody something to do, um, except for the captain, of course. Uh, basically, uh, Penhall and Hansen are sent into a high school to look into um, uh, kind of a, I guess, a, a kind of like a black market car ring, uh, where, uh, where you know, expensive cars are being stolen, and the part, and the only thing that's found is that the parts are all sold off on the black market. And uh, meanwhile. Judy Hoffs um, goes into a high school, I don't know if it's the same high school or a different one, but goes into a high school to look over a foreign exchange student, which is played by Tracy Lind. Uh, many may know her from Fright Night 2 as Charlie's new girlfriend, or My Boyfriend's Back um, as the love interest to Johnny Zombie. Um, and she does a pretty, pretty decent job. Uh, she's supposed to be Polish, and I haven't but my my uh, father's um, my father's landlord is Polish, and her accent and, and Tracy Lynn's characters is a bit thicker. But you could argue that she's she's from Poland and she's not an American, so she's just here short while. So her accent hasn't um, adjusted to you know to being in, in America. But um, yeah, she she uh, she uh, the the thing with the this uh, this character uh, Nadia is her name. She um, she she kind of is a wild woman and becomes overwhelming for Hoffs. And uh, Aoki is kind of a little on each side. Um, he helps Penhall and Hansen with getting a car to lure out the people. And and uh, Hoffs asks him, you know, uh, Janko assigns him to basically be the man that Donnie goes after so they can keep a better eye on her when it comes clear that Hoffs can't, you know, handle her. Um, uh, some notable guest stars in the episode is uh, Bill Billy Jane. Uh, he plays one of the uh, characters that Penn Hall and Hanson has to kind of buddy up with, uh, named Mark. And um, many people may remember him for uh, his role in um, Silver Spoons or uh, Parker Lewis Can't Lose. You know, he's been in a lot of stuff. Uh, he was even in, uh, I believe he was in an episode of Freddy's Nightmares also. Um, you'll find a lot of guest stars in this show were also in that show. So I'll, you know, you'll know, you probably hear me mention that again. Um, and then you also have uh, Steve Anton playing uh, Steve Delano, which is, you know, uh, another character. Um, you, you, um, you even have Ray Abruz Abruzzo, or Abruzzo, he, uh, he plays kind of, I guess, the main, the main guy that everybody's going to, for the, um, in terms of the car, uh, theft, uh, car parts storyline, and he plays Mario. He's known for his role in Sopranos, one of, one of the characters in Sopranos. Um, and you even get a cameo, well, I guess you can't really call it a cameo yet, but he, he kind of becomes a, a cameo later on, uh, by Sal Janko as a character named Vinny. He's uncredited, but he does show up in season two until, until season five as Blowfish. He's mostly known as Blowfish in the series, so it's kind of, it's kind of cool to see him, um, in an early kind of, uh, way. 
Um, the one thing I did forget to mention in the last episode, uh, which goes into this episode, I believe this is the last episode where there's a dubbing problem. Um, apparently, I guess the first few episodes were recorded uh, or were filmed with um, them using sucks and ass um, when, when describing you know their feelings or whatever and uh, like kick in their ass or, or, or this sucks you know and it, it's very badly dubbed it, it's the, it is the actors being the, you know that dub their own voices but it a lot of it's close-up shots and it's very distracting um, like they instead of saying kick your ass they say kick their tail which is just you know I guess it's just a, 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 like a, an 80s thing you know crying too much about censorship and all that crap you know um, and this was during a time when, when the word sex was considered a bad word, at least in my house. Um, but uh, overall, I think the episode is actually much better than the first two episodes. Um, it gets right in, right to the point. There's some, uh, there's some interesting moments. Uh, the kids in, in the episode, uh, Mark and Steve, are very likable. Uh, you kind of you kind of don't want them to get to, to get caught, you know, in a sense. Um, if, you know, if they're the ones doing it. Um, so, um, but they're, 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 they're interesting characters and very fun. They kind of just have this ideal outlook on stuff. And uh, Nadia, Nadia's definitely the girl that you wanted to kind of hang out with, you know, um, in the B story. And you do find out why she does what she does and everything. And, and Tracy Lind is definitely an exceptional actress. I, I would have liked to see her character return maybe but you know obviously it can't happen it couldn't happen because she was just a foreign exchange student um coming for a short time um i'm gonna show the box a little bit more this way this way when you get the thumbnail you don't have to see my face <laughs> but uh yeah this is actually the last episode of this one all right and um like i said i'm gonna try to do uh, these videos two to three times a week. It depends on the length of the videos, how long it uploads, because I don't really want to go through this every time having to upload a video every two days. Um, uh, in terms of my score, I would probably give this a four out of five. Um, it, it, it's definitely one that I like. I do like to re revisit, but it, but when I think of Twenty One Jump Street, I don't automatically think of this episode. Alright, and um, once again I want to show that I'm, I'm reviewing this episode off of the uh, Anchor Bay release of 21 Jump Street, the first season. Okay, you, you have uh, some special features on there. Uh, if you can, I know some of these are expensive because these are out of print. I would definitely recommend getting this set as opposed to the Mills Creek set. But if you don't care about, you know, if you don't care about special features, uh, then, you know, go for it. You know, this does have, a, a, I think it's about an hour long documentary uh, with the cast, um, except for obviously Johnny Depp. Um, but yeah, you have that. Uh, you got a commentary with Peter DeLuise and I'll, and I'll get to uh, what, what commentary he does, like what episode it is. I'm not gonna say right off the bat, but we are coming up to it soon. Uh, there's 13 episodes long, there's an eight, and there's an eight-page booklet. I will repeat the the set uh, the set stuff um, in each video for each season. Uh, so if it, uh, but I'll do it towards the end. So this way, if you want, you can just skip it. You know, because I'm sure it'll be redundant. So, anyways, um, once again, I'm gonna do a close off. So uh, I would say four out of five stars. America, what a town. Um, check it out and this is once again a shout out to stay noble later